Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about Square Hue and I'm actually going to be reviewing both the December and the January box today because December was way too crazy for me and I didn't have enough time to share with you guys what came in the December box. So if you don't know, Square Hue is a subscription service and you can sign up to get one, two, or maybe it's two or three polishes a month. Maybe there's not one. Anyway, I get the one that you get three a month. It's $21. They deduct the money from your account every day, the same day of the month. It's not the same for everybody, but depending on what day you sign up, they deduct the money from your account on that day. It includes shipping. And then the next month, they're sent out at the beginning of the month. So December's box was the last box in the Adventure Collection. That's what they were doing for all of 2016. And in 2017, they're doing the Dance Collection. So every box is going to be themed after some form of dance. So, quite frankly, the December box didn't inspire me at all, and that is one of the reasons why I didn't push myself to get the review up for you guys in December. I just actually didn't really care for the box very much. The red I did really like, and that's the polish that I'm wearing on my nails today, but I don't know, I just didn't really, I just didn't really love it. So here's what the box looks like as it comes to me. There's just spots for three little polishes to fit in there. I really do like their packaging. I like their presentation. I like all of that. It's just this month their colors, um, hmm, I just didn't really, or at least in December, not this month, but in December, I just really it wasn't about the color. But let me tell you, December was Ice Skate Rockefeller Center, and we had a shim we had two shimmer polishes and what they're calling a foil polish. Um, I don't really know that it's a foil polish. <laughs> anyway, let's get into it. Let's just go ahead and look at these polishes starting with the red one. So this is the one that I did like. It's very lustry and beautiful on the nail. It's like a ruby shade and it has a lot of gold shimmer in there. So this one's called Rudolph. Um, this is beautiful. It's great at two coats. I really like how this applies. For me, their brush is just a little bit too thin. You might like a thin brush. I like a little bit wider of a brush, one that I don't have to do quite as many strokes or you know passes on the nail. That's just me. Um, it just it makes me feel like I can get a more a sm better smoother coverage on the nail. I really did like the beautiful gold shimmer in this polish hat plays with the red. So definitely this was my favorite. The next polish is this very um, like bronzy antique gold shade. It's a very dull gold and this is called Jingle Bells and this is the one that they're calling a foil for me this definitely is a metallic polish but foils for me foil metallics are the ones where you can see all the little particles this is just more like a luster a luster metallic polish and for me i just i just i didn't really care for this polish it's almost like a, a mustardy gold um i don't know from just color preference i didn't really love this color um formula wise i did need three coats to get this to be opaque which was the other thing I didn't really love about it, but mostly it was just the color. I just really wasn't into the color. Hmm. The last polish in the collection is called Frosty, and this is a shimmer. It's like a white silver shimmer. I see a little bit of pink in there as well. This, for me, unfortunately, is a, is a little bit of a throwaway shade. I'm not sure. It's just it's so timid. The shimmer in here is just very light and timid. So if you're looking for just the, like the tiniest little dusting of shimmer as a topper on your polish, then this may be the polish for you. But for me, it was just, it was just almost like there was nothing there to this polish. I tried it on its own. You can't really wear it on its own. So I put it as a topper and it's just really, really bland. We're going to move on now to the Tango collection, which I did like a little bit better. And um, if you didn't know that Square Hue donates some of their profits every each month to stop human trafficking. So that is something good to know about them. And um, let's get on to this collection. So we again have two shimmers here and then we have a hollow jelly. And actually after I had kind of thought about the December box all month, I was kind of thinking to myself, maybe it's time for me to be take a pause from Square Hue just because really just didn't care for that box. And then I tried this one and I liked two out of three. And I really liked that they put some hollow in here. So that made me decide I'm gonna go ahead and try the next box because they won me over a little bit with the shades in this collection and just that they were a lot better than the last collection. So, um, all right, let's get into it. So my favorite polish out of here is actually the Deep um, Midnight Blue. And this is called Media Luna or Media Luna. And this one is it's described as a shimmer. It is a shimmer. It's just more like a uh, it's more like a luster to me. It's a luster cream, 
and it has a little bit of shimmer in it. When a cream formula is so opaque and so rich, lots of times the shimmer is hidden, so the shimmer actually doesn't really show up that much and looks more like a luster polish. So anyway, this color is beautiful. I love it. It's deep and rich, and I was really into it. Again, this one's called Media Luna. The next polish in the Tango collection is called Golpe. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. G-O-L-P-E. And this one is like an icy gray blue with um, very light, is it silver or gold shimmer in there? It might be gold. It's very, very light though. This polish, even though I love gray blues, I just wasn't into this one very much. I don't know what it was. For me, it was just probably totally color preference. There was just something about this where because it was like a little bit on the metallic side, I wanted it to be richer. But again, this was like timid. So I don't know, just for me, preference wise, I didn't really love this one. The last one out of the collection is the Hollow Jelly and this one's called La Parada. And as you can see, this is a nice bright orange and it's definitely a jelly. This is going to be a shimmer, <laughs> this is going to be a sheerer formula, but I do love that it has lots of scattered hollow in there. And um, I like the orange and the blue combination together. Those are opposites on the color wheel, and so they do look really nice together. I like that they put those in here together. So it really wakened the collection up to have this one in here for me. This one, I thought to myself, well, this is going to need to be a topper after I did one coat because it was kind of goopy. This is actually pretty thicker polish, probably just by nature of the components that they included. Um, but... I was patient and I went ahead and did the three and I thought it was nice on its own at three. So you could totally wear this at three coats or you could wear this as a topper, whichever one you like if you don't want to do a ton of coats. Um, but I did like it. I thought it was pretty and with a color like this without being, you know, if it's not absolutely opaque, it was okay with me. So um, this is another one that I did enjoy. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed looking at those two collections with me. Let me know if you tried this collection and what your favorite one was, if you've never even heard of Square Key before or been wanting to try it. I will leave all the information in the description bar below where you can click on it. I do purchase this subscription myself. As I said, I get the, uh, the box with three, but you can choose two and I think you can like pick which polish to get. And they changed it at the new year or something. You don't... Um, just have to get whatever they want. They show you the three colors and then you can pick the two that you want like that. Um, so that's going to be it. I hope you found this helpful. I love you guys. Thanks for spending some time with me coming to hang out for this review. I'll see you back for the next one. Take care. Bye.